Hello, hello, welcome on back to the episode of Warframe. As far as what you got for me. Where synthesis will be the light that illuminates this Troopers. good. Bye. Even while others are blinded blah, by blah, blah, morality, morality, blah, 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 sanctuary, virtue, blah, virtue blah. As far as we need more lines. I will share with uh, we are here to answer the question of what happens when you put a negative five point something combo multiplier second duration uh, on a weapon that does not have body count or anything. Uh, oh. That is the question we are about to answer. Because I'm really, really curious. So I'm just going to put that on there. I'm going to put on Primed Fury. Uh, primed Reach. And... Push Ruin, I guess. We're not going to worry about a whole lot of the damage. Though I will put that on there as well, I suppose. And let's see. I guess Berserker? No. We'll just leave it at that. Uh, for the frame, I am going to go Interos. Just because armor. Uh, and the primary and secondary weapons don't matter. Alright. So. Let's summon a, I guess, Ancient Healer Eximus. One of them at, um, oh, at 150, level 150. I don't want him to die. Uh, Warframe Invincibility. Forgot about that being added. That added. I'm gonna go back to Mirage. Guess why not? All right. <clears throat> That, wait, 115 warfare, okay, friendly fire, no need, pause AI, and... eh, we'll simulate. Okay. Okay, I legitimately cannot have a combo multiplier. If you were going to see one, it was going to be popping up right there. I, I literally cannot get one. There is no number. Is my damage increasing at all? 918s, 918s, oh, random crit. Nope, I could not get a combo multiplier at all. It's just not possible. Okay. Interesting. So that's, that, that, that's, that's what happens. I, hmm. All right. All right. I had no idea. I'm glad that question got answered. You know, there was another thing I was gonna look at. I forget what the hell it was. Yeah, it was another thing I was gonna look at, uh, I think with the carrier? Or the weapon? Maybe it was a weapon? Uh, let's see. What? Oh. Oh, that's right, I already have serration on here because, uh, Reasons. Uh, actually, that's serrations. Probably used. Uh, well, I know that serrations used on uh, other things. And uh, can I not upgrade mods here? Really? Okay. Uh, I am now also curious about uh, this laser rifle. No, prime laser rifle, obviously, but uh, laser rifle nonetheless. Uh, the primed band of corpus and the ribbon mod I have on it has like a percent damage to corpus enemy unit type. I'm intrigued to know what the hell I was putting there. Shred. What was I putting in this slot? Oh, uh, d -d 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 I was going to put... I was going to go to that. Uh, open up chat. Status. Get a viral on there now, which is cold and toxin. So high voltage and thermite rounds. Alrighty. So we got blasting corrosive on there. Uh, carrier needs to be upgraded with a striker instead of guardian. Vulnerable at the moment. Uh, carrier, how do you do against trying to kill this guy? Not that great. 
Now that just may be because it's level 150 uh, Sanguine Eximus Ancient Healer. Or it could just be that the damage isn't great. I don't know. Uh, what about a, let's say, a uh, Bursa? Uh, at... Uh, let's let's start low, at level 45. Well, when I say low at 45, I mean, it's fairly low. So you were technically a corpus unit. Well, I mean, you're dealing some damage. Not all of your shots are landing. Not very accurate at range. In fact, I think your range is like 10 meters. Which is the pretty much range that the person wants to back off at. Alright, so not that great against the person at level 45. Uh, what about a regular Corpus Crewman? Or, sure, let's, let's go with the Elite because at the level they would be spawning at, at 45, they would probably be Elite anyway. Alright, very effective against a, uh, a Crewman at level 45. With uh, those mods on it. Uh, oh, wait. Crewman. Let's get, uh, let's get two of them out of the field. And let's boost their level up to 80. That's quite a significant jump. That may not seem like it. What do you do now? Not that great. Uh, in fact, you seem to be trying to shoot where they are at instead, or where they should be when they were standing instead of where they are at on the ground. Uh, which is a bit... Bit odd, but okay. Generally, if they're on the ground anyway, I'll be doing that. Uh, so, okay, not terrible. Uh, let's try to summon those guys again. Cause you actually seem to be procking your status procs a bit more than I expected. So that's about third. Fourth, one of the shots hit. Where'd the other enemy go? Hello? Hello? Hi. So it's doing what? Maybe maybe a fifth of their HP if all shots land at uh, level 80 on a, I mean, I guess technically fully modded, but not. Not really. I, I would honestly probably change these mods out. And oh, the serrations I've maxed. The prime domain of corpus is even maxed. Uh, but it's doing quite a bit of damage at level 80. Now here's the real question: What happens if I change their settings and their level up to 120? Uh, which is essentially what I would expect most weapons to be able to kill on their own with no problem. Well, I mean, you're not. You're not doing a stupid crap ton of damage. You're not doing anything to laugh at either. Like that, that is pretty significant for 120 crewmen. Hmm. I'm curious to know if the laser rifle now have any differences on the uh, corpse ta or uh, the tax. Okay, they are called Corpus Stacks. Uh, let's open one of the regular ones and one of the Eximus ones. I actually intended on running some missions this episode, but apparently not anymore. Alright, so a little bit less damage against the Corpus Tax, uh, which is to be, be expected. They had, do have different health types than normal tech, uh, normal uh, crewmen and whatnot. I wonder why there was a third guy. The old guy was not part of this test corpus tech, though I did forget that you guys spawned them. 
Could I actually let you uh, kill this guy quick enough without me interfering? Before he spawns another one? No. Alright. Mm -hmm. Next idea is then, since Blast seems to be causing a bit of a problem with knocking them down and causing them to do other things, since this is an anti-corpus build anyway, what about gas and magnetic damage? Which is kind of the anti-corpus build anyway because of the magnetic damage type. Let's try against Blitz Exhibit, shall we? I can see it. Hmm. Let's remove the Xmas. Let's summon a regular attack again. The gas is going to drain their health over time regardless. The magnetic is going to strip away their shields temporarily. Which, by the way, uh, status duration build on a weapon for a uh, Sentinel. Actually, wouldn't be too bad if he actually had uh, a specific build in mind to go against uh, uh, something like uh, the, the, the Corpus. Because uh, if your magnetic proc lasts for a good while, you can actually cause quite a bit of more harm to them if ma uh, compared to the magnetic proc just disappearing, the uh, getting their shields back. Like if you, well, okay, this corpus tech shields are completely gone at the moment. But the slash and gas procs that you see happening though, those lasting longer will cause more damage overall. Puncture would also lose uh, the damage you're dealing. Yeah, uh, any armor impact rock would reduce that. So, just duration on a center weapon wouldn't be too bad of an idea. Hmm. Also, I will note that the Carrier Prime and the Prime Laser Rifle just took out that Corpus Tech on their own without me doing anything. Which is actually quite amazing. Uh, also, what time did I start this episode? I got so engrossed in testing, I didn't even pay attention. Okay. We have like eight minutes left. Uh, is there anything else I want to test? Mess around with? Uh, there is. Hmm. Oh, uh, Guardian. Alright, so no more weapon for you. Uh, <clears throat> Cisco and Plasmore. How do you do... Because, I, I mean, we, we haven't really gotten to fully test it against enemies I would like. How do you do against level 150 Grenier? Uh, should we go with Arid? Should we go with regular? Um, let's go with, uh, let's go with Arid, shall we? Just everything Arid. So let's say we got uh, two butchers, maybe a butcher XMS. Uh, now nah, let's pass on the other XMS. Uh, maybe a heavy gunner, three of the Hellions, a uh, couple of viscerators, uh, a seeker, a seeker XMS, uh, five regular troopers, a uh, couple lancers. Uh, and the last two elite air lancers. Maybe maybe you're in a weird spot there with that. Uh, let's simulate this, shall we? That's one shot against lancer. Two, three, four, five, six. That's a full clip. I have to reload. This radiation has taken effect. They are fighting each other at this point, though I have a few guys shooting at me. One... Okay, so eight shots total to kill him, along with some damage dealt by allies at 150. That's not terrible. Hellion, how you doing? That was a full clip. That's another two. Which, uh, I think at that point, I probably could have left alone to have them cause some uh, infighting damage going on. Alright, so we've seen how that works against 150. Cisco. 
That was what, four shots? That was four shots. Uh, Arrow to this Raider, different story. Bit harder to kill, apparently. Might as well been the whole clip. Let's try that again, shall we? Is it? That seemed weird. Yeah, no, Arrow to this Raiders apparently have a lot more armor or something. Maybe a lot more health. Alright, so that took one shot more than a clip. So, yeah, just about a clip. Full 36 shots to, uh, actually... ...kill one of these guys at this level, huh? Ah, oh, why did the trooper die so fast? Why did that trooper die so fast? Hmm. Really far? How do you do? Comparison. Not too bad. Oh. I I just had an idea. Uh, does it allow me to have Bliska Prime out? Alright. And, uh, was there, was there another weapon? That allowed me to clone an enemy that I killed with it? I don't think there was. At least not primaries, I don't think. Uh, if, if you do know of a primary weapon and I, I, I somehow forgot about it, do let me know. Uh, I, I'm curious. Uh, <clears throat> let's go prime. So, if I kill an enemy with this, and a fully charged shot, probably not against, a, probably not against apparently anyone right now. What? Let's lower these guys' level because it's not about the level. Uh, at all in this particular case. It's more about their uh, stacking. With. Okay, there's one. Okay, so I can totally have him and him out at the same time. Interesting. So I can actually have them both out at the same time. So I could actually have my own like personal army developed by killing enemies with these weapons. Hmm. Uh, Helen, could you go up in the air again, please? Ah, uh, so if I kill you with the Blizzard Prime in the air, you just fall to the ground. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, this has been a weird video of, uh, testing. <laughs> it's definitely been a weird one. Uh, there's no doubts about that, but, uh, you know what, at, at least we've made some use of the simulacrum. It's been a while since I've actually been here, and, uh, have actually found a purpose of using it. Uh, it's good to know that, uh, they, uh, they added the invulnerability to frames a bit, because I, I, I honestly forgot. Uh, oh, and, uh, let's, let's hold up here. Friendly fire and pause AI. I'm, cu I'm very curious now. Does that mean that that AI... And this AI is paused? No, but it should mean that I can hit my own ally? No? No, it doesn't? Hmm. Alright. Uh, so friendly fire must be for the multiplayer aspect that they allowed it to happen in the simulacrum. Uh, there was one other thing I was going to test, and I, I told Noah about it, and I, I've forgotten since. It's been like a week. Maybe longer, honestly. Uh, since I brought up some weird question to him and he, he had like no idea and he was like, well, don't you test it? And maybe a little at some point. Uh, I forgot what the hell that was and I'll, I'll have to ask him after he gets up. Uh, to see if he remembers what the hell that was again. 
But uh, that will have to be it for this episode of Warframe, the testing game. Uh, to, no, seriously, this episode was all about testing. But whatever. Break for the missions, break for the monotony. Until next time, as always, take it easy.